All my politicians got a government paycheck. This isn't hurting them. What they need to do is realize that they represent the people and to try and step back and remember when they might have been struggling sometime or someone they know they're struggling because we need our businesses to survive. Hi everybody, I'm Amanda Head reporting for The Rebel from Woodland Hills, California, a beautiful area just north of Los Angeles. It is actually a part of LA County, so we are subject to Mayor Eric Garcetti's statutes and mandates. But these folks are out here protesting because millions of Californians, as well as millions of Americans, but particularly here in California, a lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people are trying to take care of their families, and the government simply is not allowing them to do so. And despite the fact that California is the most populous state in the country, despite the fact that we have some of the most populated cities, comparably we have a very small number of cases and deaths. And yet, Gavin Newsom just a few days ago announced that the shutdown is going to continue through the end of July, beginning of Donald August, Trump. possibly Woo! to extend even longer, depending on when a vaccine is made available. So they're pushing this goalpost further and further away every time. And people, as you can see, are getting a little fed up with it. So I'm going to have a chat with some of these people and see what they think. Hi, my name is Errol Weber, candidate for Congress in California's 37th Congressional District. My name is James Bradley, running against Ted Lieu in District 33, California. Hi, I'm Jeffy Gergenti, and I'm running for the 45th District for California State Assembly. Hi, I'm Denise Pedro. I'm running for State Assembly. I'm a Republican candidate uh, out of Ventura County, uh, looking to flip this seat red and take back District 44 for the people. My name is Ricardo Benitez. I'm running for State Assembly in the 39th district in the northeast San Fernando Valley and I'm here to support all these beautiful people with the desires of bring California back because there is so much people that need to go back to work and they are sitting home are suffering the consequences of not getting enough money to pay their bills and pay their rent and pay their food. I have a daughter that was in the uh, 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 she, she waited on tables that was one daughter. I have another daughter. She was uh, serving at a bar. Now, Whole Foods took her in, gave her another job. That's, they have a big company. They could absorb her. But my other girl, she, she lost her job completely, and she's sitting home, and the only thing keeping her going is, well, <laughs> she is getting that $600 a week, every week, on top of the $250 that you get for unemployment. Which to me, how is that possible that we can hand out this kind of money? We've got one niece that uh, was a bartender. Bars closed, of course. She was able to pick up a job at Amazon. Uh, she hates it, gotta pay the bills. I'm not a family that you know likes to sit and collect a check. Quite a few family members have lost their job. Now they're on an unemployment standing in line, as usual. Some are now going on an SDI. So you know, quite a few of my uh, constituents are on the unemployment line. So this is truly an issue that, uh, honestly, I question science all the time, and there's nothing to support this uh, shutdown. You know, there's been COVID viruses in the past. There has never been a vaccine for any COVID, any COVID virus. It's probably not gonna be one for this one. All my politicians got a government paycheck. This isn't hurting them. What they need to do is realize that they represent the people and to try and step back and remember when they might have been struggling sometime or someone they know they're struggling because we need our businesses to survive. I come from a 30 year history in medicine uh, in the healthcare space so I know a little bit about that. So I'll be questioning him on the science and really truly what is his purpose behind putting everyone out of work and uh, creating this crisis here in the state of California. What they've done over a period of times is look at the homelessness, look at the vagrancy, look at the less pride that people have in their community, the cleanliness. I mean, it was about, you know, their fences, their grass, you know, kids riding out in their bike or playing with your neighbors. You don't have that. You have that now with the epidemic, but you, you've lost that. So I live in Ventura County. I go to the big box stores like Target or Walmart they have the clothing aisles uh, closed off. So I could go and buy hard alcohol, I could buy cigarettes, but I can't buy my grandson's socks and underwear. It concerns me in that every dollar that's given away, it has to first be taken away from a taxpayer. Let's get on the, let's get our feet back on the ground and recognize where that money came from, okay? So we, 
There's no such thing as free. We all pay for it. We don't teach financial literacy anymore, and I believe it's important for us to teach financial literacy at a very early age, even in middle school. We need to get back to work. Small business tax isn't going to get paid if we're sitting at home collecting unemployment. Our economic uh, outlook is actually quite bleak right now if we don't open up the economy now and let all the rest of those service industries such like, like um, nail salons and hair salons, barber shops, if we don't let those restaurants come back on, we are putting out, we are tanking, we are tanking the, uh, the uh, economy in Ventura County. I don't want restaurants to fail, I want businesses to go back the way they were, back to normal. Please, you get to you get to do uh, what the people's business is, and that's do that people's business. This is way overreach on his part. I'm a salon owner, I'm a manicurist, and I'm considered not essential. I'm absolutely 100% essential, and how dare Governor Newsom decide that I am not essential? Governor Newsom, I do not think that you're, you're with your pen and your executive order that you get to cancel out all of our uh, constitutional rights. Before anything, I'm a constitutionalist. The supreme law of the land is the constitution. And we seek happiness. We seek to bear our arms. We seek to praise as we wish. There's nothing that they're doing that does that or how they represent now is part of it. I don't know why millennials are targeted. I think they're very intelligent people. I think they can come to the same conclusions our generation did. And I applaud, and you see them over here right now. They're right over here, all these millennials that are helping us out. We know what's right, do what's right, open up California, and let's all get back to work. And pursuit of happiness is part of working. One, one thing in this world that could kill you, and we're going to base everything off of that, throw all of our freedoms away based off of one pandemic. Seriously, and Martin Luther King said, let freedom reign. I'm Amanda Head for the Rebel News. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell, ding, to get notifications. To bring you the other side of the story, contribute if you can. Please go to rebelnewsplus.com to subscribe. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel, and I'll see you next time.